The coronavirus pandemic, the U.S. close to 110,000 deaths now as reopening moves ahead. New York City wants the epicenter due to begin its reopening tomorrow. ABC's Trevor Alt joins us with more. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Eva. You know, businesses across New York City are excited to finally get to start this reopening process after months of shutdown. And Governor Andrew Cuomo actually says the state has far exceeded expectations for reducing the spread. But the virus is still wreaking havoc in other areas with multiple major cities and states like South Carolina and Texas just recording record upticks in cases. The United States now tops 1.9 million COVID-19 cases. And right now, 18 states in Puerto Rico are seeing their cases increase. But this morning, New York is celebrating. Governor Andrew Cuomo announcing a substantial descent from the state's peak, saying we didn't just flatten the curve, we crushed it. Congratulations to the people of New York State because they did this. Tomorrow, New York City finally starts the reopening process with other parts of the state moving into phase two and business owners are eager to get back to work. People can't wait to go out, socialize, get out of the house. They're tired of being confined. But the threat of the virus is still looming. And as crowds protesting the death of George Floyd converged on Saturday, demonstrators like Samantha Law were passing out masks and hand sanitizer. Does the crowd worry? 